The launch feels like a roller coaster a little bit. You're barefoot. It's a very tight sort of like sardine can space. And you're just sitting there waiting for it to start. When it's like officially cleared to descend, that's when like the magic really starts. My name is Olivia Pereira. I am a PhD candidate here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography in Dr. Lisa Levin's lab. This summer, we went on a research cruise on board the RV Atlantis with the submersible Alvin. Alvin is one of the deepest diving submersibles in the entire world. It is owned by the US Navy and operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. And it can now dive up to 6,500 meters. My name is Ailish Ullman. I am a graduate of the MAS MBC program. This was my first dive in Alpen, and I was over the moon excited. And I just had my face pressed up to the to the little porthole, and just like watching the colors darken, and then being able to watch the animals sort of pop up. There were so many of them, and they were so cool. On the ship, we had four female scientists leading the expedition. Lisa Levin from Scripps, Tina Troy from UCLA, Shauna Graffetti from Occidental College, and Victoria Orphan from Caltech. And those are four women that people know who they are because of what they've done. Uh, my name is Shauna Gofredi. I am a professor of biology at Occidental College, and I'm one of the principal investigators on the Atlantis here on an expedition to the Southern California borderlands. We're studying methane seeps. I've been on at least two pretty big expeditions where I was the only female on board. To go from that to an expedition where there are four female PIs is just like, it's really, really amazing. I'm thrilled for all of the young female scientists that are also kind of learning their way and, and seeing that this can be a career. To be able to be down the submersible looking at these unbelievable ecosystems with like the expert in it, I mean, wow. <laughs> I think it triggered that like childlike sense of awe and wonder. I think there's not many places left in science where you are constantly making new discoveries. Early on in the cruise, we found a bunch of sea spiders on some samples. And so it was just the highest levels of excitement throughout the entire lab. It was so cool. Olivia in particular loves crustaceans. I'm sure she told you. I'm obsessed with Yeti crabs the most beautiful animals in the entire world. I love them so much. She, she saw these fuzzy crabs that we brought up after my dive, having thought that they were all destroyed in this underwater landslide and just immediately just like sobbing. The deep sea is a very harsh environment. Most of the deep sea is covered by sediments and there are a few special places that have hard ground and I study the animals living on these hard substrates. Thinking about the context of climate change, how are those things going to affect the communities that we see now in those ecosystems? Because so much of this exploration is new and exciting, it feels like sort of the perfect meeting point of cutting edge exploration and really urgent conservation. There is also sort of a, a resource exploitation side of that. Deep sea mining is something that is very new, but it's also coming fast and hard. And so I think it's one of these rare moments in history, possibly singular moment in history, where a popular desire and popular buy-in for conservation has preceded the technology to exploit a resource. The idea that as a researcher, even as an early career researcher, I could be a part of the science that determines if this should happen at all, and then if it does, how we can you know, allow it to happen with the least amount of detrimental impact. That is just so exciting to be able to do research that's gonna inform policy like that. We are as connected to the deep sea as we are to coral reefs and the tide pools. The deep sea is supposed to be for the benefit of all humankind. 
And as more people know about it, there's more people excited about it. I also do science communication and I posted a lot on my Instagram with like all female PIs and I got so many messages of people recognizing that. I don't think it was inspirational just for us, but also for others that knew about our cruise or that are learning now about our cruise. Just like this cruise um, on the Atlantis was these four brilliant PIs working together to do amazing science and bring forth new discoveries. I dream of a future where that's me and Michelle and Olivia getting to do this amazing science together once again, but as PIs ourselves and not just early career scientists.